Arrange the following fraction from greatest to smallest. Okay, so immediately we want to ask ourselves what are all these fractions, right? What is the value of all these fractions? And the best way for us to do that is to make common denominators so that we can easily compare them. So what exactly is 1, 7 over 8? First, I'll convert it to okay, the same denominator, right? And I want to make it 24. So we have 1, 7 over 8, 11 over 6, and 1, 11 over 12. So immediately, multiply by 3, multiply by 4, multiply by 2. Now why do you want to do that? Because immediately, we can easily okay, compare the values, right? Okay, now from here we can actually uh, observe who is smaller and who is greater but of course you can change this mixed number to an improper fraction right and you have a greater clarity in that case but uh, this step is not needed because in a mixed number you can actually okay uh, observe who is smallest when largest now since we have to arrange from the greatest to the smallest who is the greatest Okay, this is number 1, right? Subsequently, this is 2, and then this is 3. Now, you must remember, okay, our solution must be, okay, back to the original fractions that is given to us. So, many students always make the mistake, okay, they will give these final answers. Okay, so that is absolutely wrong, eh? okay, so you must remember that. Okay, so, bear in mind, and this would be your answer for this question.